electric car piston there is so much potential. Let's start to modify it together and convert it into a video slider. The first thing I have to do is take the shape of the, the piston itself and the best solution is to take paper and a pencil and trace the shape of the piston itself. So I can import the picture into the 3D software I use to draw things and it's so important now to calibrate the picture. So I just took a photo, import it into the software and calibrate now the picture. It's so simple, you just have to mark a point. Let's take this that is on the zero millimeter and the more distance there is, the more accurate the picture will be, the dimension. So I can calibrate it here on 110 millimeters. So using the keyboard, I say to the software that this is 110 millimeters, I press OK and now the software is just calibrating and the picture now is much bigger. I'm now, I'm now sure that everything I will draw is will be perfectly in scale and represent the real life object. So I just follow the lines and after a couple minutes I ended up with this perfect design. I just have to uh, extrude it. Uh, now let's start with three uh, centimeters but later will be uh, 110, 112 millimeters. This represents the shape of the piston. Now let's take a tripod. This is a Manfrotto tripod and you can see that it's a half sphere, half sphere shape and I can draw the same thing and connect it to the design. You can see that everything came great. You find all the files I'm going to use for this project in the info below in the video so you can just print them or modify them in any case. If you find a piston that have different dimensions you can take in any case the half sphere I just drawn. I can turn on the 3D printer. This took to almost eight hours to print it and I really suggest you to print it with an infill of 90% or 100% so the plastic object will be so sturdy and it came out so great. I also designed a hole here on the top so that I can insert a bolt, a stainless steel bolt here on the top. Unfortunately, the hole is a little bit too small but I can use a drill to fix everything. It's always better to have a smaller hole than a bigger one so I can solve the problem with this in just two seconds and the bolt goes perfectly inside. You can see that I also made an hexagonal shape so that it will not spin on itself. It's just a matter now to connect it on the tripod itself and you can see that half sphere goes perfectly inside. It has this movement that is so important if, to, if you want to align and just change angle of the piston and the slider itself. After connecting a screw here on the bottom and not, everything is so sturdy. Now let's see together if for the first time the piston will fit inside the 3D object or not. And I'm pretty confident it will, yes. And it's going on inside great. As you can see, there is a little gap, but this is on purpose so that I can glue it inside. Now it's so important to find the uh, baricentro, so the, where the weight is perfectly balanced, uh, the gravity point of the, the piston itself. There's a trick, move two fingers and you will find the perfect point where the, the weight is distributed. So I can apply some glue. This is not silicone, but is polyurethane glue that glues much better to plastic and aluminum. So I move the part here and apply more glue in the gap. And now let the glue dry for about 12 hours. I design also this little component that will go in the front of the piston itself. This will be the head where I can mount a tripod head and I can just move it uh, with the piston itself. Uh, you will understand better now that I put it inside the hole. You can see that it is a precise fit and I can use a hammer to push it inside and it's also uh, a great idea to add a glue, some glue here. The motor itself is a 12 volt motor and I also dismount all the parts of the piston so I can clean them and apply some oil and grease so everything will move smoothly. I take two switches and this is so important to change polarity of the motor itself. This is a three, three connection switch. I connect both of them so we have six points of connections and I can switch from positive and negative so I can make the piston extend or retract without problems. I also connect a little lever here on top and to control the speed of the motor I decided to use this as that is a controller for toys, slot cars, toys and it's so great I can 
clearly see that I can control the speed of the motors, just pushing harder with my thumb. So after connecting everything, I just had a very nice idea. Connect something else here, just on the top. You can clearly see that this slider is so different. We have in this case two cameras mounted on top so you can see how everything can work. With this I can control the speed of the motor and using the switch on the back I can control the direction. It could be a very great idea to connect a little string to the piston to the switch so it will change the direction automatically. I decided to weld an arm and a bracket here on the top of the piston and cut a section of this rail. This is a factory industry rail to move components into, into the factories and it's a very cheap solution. You can see it has no vibration and goes and moves so smoothly. So this is the main camera I probably will use just for regular shots and I can move it using the piston as well because I welded here a stainless steel arm that fits perfectly inside the little hole I just drilled inside the, the rail itself. So you can see that while the piston extend or retract will move the second camera without problems. Everything moves so smoothly but there's something so interesting with this piston. It has a very nice design and allows me to have such a weird shots I'm going to show you right now. Talking about the middle camera, this is a regular slider. I just will use it for reviews and other things that are coming so handy. But talking about the front camera is so weird. Doesn't have rails in front like all typical sliders. And this allows me to make such weird shots passing between objects. And um, yeah, let's test it here on the table. I have something. And you little Rulof go back to home and this is the final result. I'm so proud. Consider that I, it took only 24 hours to build it, 10 hours to edit the video and everything came out great. The design is amazing, the color are looks amazing, everything. It seems like something that you can buy in the shop. So that's a great product. And this isn't the first time we are building a slider together. Probably you can remember in 2018, we just made something that was crazy. An opposite gear slider that used four gears and all other very cheap components to fabricate it. And it was amazing, such as smooth movement. You find a link of it here below. So here as well, the weight is absolutely ridiculous. We have the tripod that is made with aluminium, the piston itself is mainly um, aluminium and also the rail here on the top is aluminium as well. So yeah, the, the weight is perfect and I can't wait to use this slider in all my videos. I wasn't really sure how to connect the piston to the, the middle slider, but <laughs> during the night I was dreaming and I had the solution just dreaming. I can use a stainless steel rod to connect the two parts together and you can see it will slide without problems. The piston can extend 35 centimeters, but you can see that the middle slider can move within, within 60 centimeters without problems using the hand, but could be a very great idea to use a, a string and some pulleys to connect the motor and multiply the, the traction of the piston itself. This is for extending the movement of the middle slider. This will, can be a very great idea, but a simple rod solves all the problems 
has no 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 issue works smoothly and there are no vibrations so that's the main reason i use a rigid connection between the two parts and not a string or a cotton string or a rope for connecting the two parts together so the best thing about this tripod is for sure the function that moves the camera you can see here on my left arm and this can pass between the cans and all the objects is on the table such a nice shot i'm in love with this kind of shot so remember i'm here just to give you inspiration you find all the links of the 3d file i just printed in any case if you don't find the same shape of the piston you can adapt and change the files without problems and print your own so as always i leave you here next to me the, my two previous projects so how to pre to make yourself a huge led and also how to make the opposite gear slider check them out and see you next week with the only youtube tutorials channel see you soon ciao ciao